So what we're gonna try to do here is photograph our eight foot, 30 poundish boa constrictor. Let me ask you a question. Uh, can he bite? Yes. yes. And you guys don't seem to have any concern about the biting. No, this is generally these snakes see people a lot, so this collection of snakes is very used to people. The calm behavior, like you saw Megan when it came up, it was just checking things out. That's why the snake is so calm. Yeah, you just calming the energy. And uh, the goal I have is to take a couple different shots. One of them is going to be a really clear shot that shows a lot of detail of the entire body. That might be a little tough on this background that he's already a little wider than. So what we're trying to do is, and it is a team effort, get him all curled up, shoot top down. You get a um, 2470 on this um, with a, a really extended field of focus, probably something like an F16. And, um, and that's gonna you know, lose us a lot of light. So we're gonna turn these lights up. Arn, if you could hold this light up and tilt it down overhead. One thing I'm keeping in mind, as soon as he removes the blue towel, the, sh the subject's gonna be a lot darker. And so I need to a bit overexposed for this situation so that in a second it goes away, the exposure will be spot on for the darker subject. One, two, three, go. Oh. I think we got him right away, I really do. Yes, we did. The other one is gonna be a, a shot very close up. I would love to have that tongue in profile and straight on. I'm in a macro, so he looks really close. <laughs> it's a 105. So getting that tongue, it's perfect. Hey, well, let's see if we can't lift here. Now let's see it. Ah, uh, you are so, is it close to me? Like, I'll show you the shot I have, and you'll see why it's nerve-wracking to me. So this is what I'm seeing. <laughs> this is how close it looks to me. And lastly would be a top-down shot to see if we can't get something that really shows that length. So this is a great angle because he's in focus. His body's curled around. This angle is so, so cool. Carton, can you make this light come a little bit more here? Because he's just head-on. It's very layered and nuanced. Kind of looks like he's just completely staring at me. And I think he's gonna make that hissing sound again. Yep. Oh, you are not doing that for me. I said lastly. And lastly, lastly, would be to do a macro of that beautiful iridescence of his back. We're gonna light it in a way that really helps that pop out. The more I turn this light up and bring it in, the more iridescence is shown off. So I really want to pull some light in here. Not too much, bring it down just a little bit. So yeah, you don't want to like put so much light on that you get rid of the shadows, which is where the, the folds show off that iridescent. God, this is just a muscle. Oh, look at that underside, that's a whole different look. Okay. So this iridescence that keeps showing up in just different angles is crazy. It looks like an oil slick. So you might get a lot of iridescence in these dark yes. colors. Yes. Yeah. It's so pretty. And it's a certain angle it hits to the light that is really stunning. And also the angle I take to the snake makes a huge difference. That is lovely. So we had a wonderful shoot with a giant snake and got all the shots I was going for. We got that beautiful iridescence that really was highlighted by the way we shifted the light. We had the beautiful top-down shot that was not easy to get. We had to really get it quickly and trying to get that circular shape was about a millisecond between when he let go of the snake and after he moved, so shooting at a very fast shutter speed. And the tongue, we got the tongue out and fully extended and had that lovely depth of field where the tongue was sharp and the face was kind of going out of focus. And lastly, was trying to get a sense of the size of the creature. So all in all, it went really well. I ended up using a combination of the macro, the 105-28 macro lens, the, and the 2470 f2.8 lens. For this scenario, I only needed those two lenses to get exactly what I wanted.